and welcome to my channel notes from the sewing room my name's becky thank you for joining me today if you are a subscriber welcome back and if you are new to my channel my channel is basically all about sewing so that's making different sewing patterns reviewing different sewing patterns trying out different fabrics and sometimes a little bit of upcycling as well so if that is something that does interest you it would be amazing if you could consider subscribing to my channel and maybe giving me a thumbs up as well because that does encourage youtube to show my video to other people who like sewing. So today's video is all about what I'm planning to make during October. So I don't know about you but I'm really getting those kind of autumnal vibes at the moment and I'm kind of thinking what is going to be suitable for me to sew over the next few months. So I've put together um, just a few bits and bobs that I want to sew over the next few weeks so I thought I'd just chat to you about those today. Before we get going though I'll just tell you what I'm wearing today and I'm actually wearing a, a headband uh, which is completely different to the type of headbands I usually wear. I usually wear headbands that are maybe made by me and they're kind of, you know, fabric-y type headbands. This is actually um, on a band, um, so it's a little bit different for me, but I'm quite liking it, to be honest. I don't know what your ver verdict is on those type of headbands, but I, I quite like it. So yeah, new to me, but I'm quite liking that. I just picked that up from the supermarket, actually, the other day uh, when I was out doing my grocery shopping. Um, I'm also wearing my latest Agnes top. So I won't talk too much about that because I will be mentioning it in my October makes video because I've actually made that one this month already. And I'm also wearing one of my um, ready to wear cardigans today. And that's by Hell Bunny, if you are interested. OK, let's get to it and I'll tell you what my sewing plans are. So the first thing that I'm planning on making over the next few weeks is actually a pattern that is um, a kind of brand new limited edition pattern I think by Selkie Patterns and this is the brand new, um, I don't know if I'm going to say it correctly, Celeste um, blouse and dress. It's available in UK sizes 6 through to 32 and this is the lovely pattern cover here. So there are a few different versions available of this blouse and dress and there are actually four different sleeve options. So I'll just hold that up there you'll be able to see. So I'm going to make one of the, the dress versions I think um, with the three quarter length arms. I think that's what I'm planning on doing providing I've got enough fabric. I think I've got three meters so fingers crossed that's going to be enough. Although the pattern pack does actually give you different uh, measurements of fabric that you need for, or should I say, it recommends different measurements of fabric that you would need for the various different sleeve lengths. So I'm not sure if I will have enough because I'm trying to squeeze this out of three metres. So we'll see how I get on. Um, but yeah, I like that there's um, a lot of variety there, different sleeve options. Obviously, you can make the dress, you can make the blouse and you can mix and match the sleeves. So. I was actually given this pattern by Husqvarna Viking um, as one of their brand ambassadors for sewing machines and um, I believe that this pattern is currently available from Husqvarna if you buy a sewing machine um, but I, I believe, I might be wrong, but I think it's also going to be released as a PDF pattern by Selkie Patterns um, later in the year, possibly November, but I'm not sure about that so we'll watch this space. So I'm really pleased to be working with Husqvarna and um, being asked to try out this pattern basically so I think it's going to be right up my street. I've made the London dress a couple of times before by Selkie Patterns and I also made that as a skirt and also as a blouse as well and I really really liked it. So the idea of having a go at this new pattern um, just really excite me and um, yeah can't wait to give it a go. So this fabric is a beautiful dashwood um, viscose fabric that I've got here and this is what I'm planning on making it in. So it's really, really lovely. It's got a beautiful um, softness to it, beautiful drape. Um, it's got a, this lovely gray background and this lovely kind of spot kind of splash type detail on there. And as you can see, there's lots of different colors in there as well. There's mustard, there's brown, there's blue, um, a little bit of pink. So yeah, there's all sorts. So, um, and yeah, I just really, really like it. So it's gray on that side, white on the other side. So yeah looking forward to working with that. I just need to get that into the washing machine and make sure that that's kind of washed and dried and then I can get my pattern pieces cut out and everything. So I did think I might record a little Instagram video about that. So um, but I'll keep you posted how I get on with that one. Um, so I should say actually that this fabric was given to me by Coles Sewing Centre in Nottingham to um, make this lovely pattern. That's because Coles work with Husqvarna, they sell Husqvarna sewing machines. So it's a bit of a kind of collaboration type thing. Um, but yeah, 
yeah, so I, I'm going to be sharing my review of the fabric with them and also my review of the pattern. So I will, of course, let you know on one of my future videos how I got on with the pattern and how I found working with the fabric as well. But I am quite a big fan of Dashwood fabrics in general. Um, I've made a few different things with them before and I've always really liked them. So I'm sure this one will be no different. And I quite like that it's kind of grey and it's got that bit of mustard in there because I think that kind of gives it that sort of autumnal kind of feel. And hopefully I can wear it with a nice cosy mustard cardigan or maybe a green cardigan, maybe this cardigan, I don't know, um, when I've made it. So that would be really nice. And hopefully I can maybe wear some different tights with it, possibly. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see how we get on. But yeah, I will try it out with a few different things and see how I, I can accessorise the dress after it's been made. So yeah, I shall keep you posted on that one. The next thing that I wanted to share with you today is actually um, a fabric that I've had in my fabric stash for ages. Possibly, I was trying to think when I bought it, and I think it was possibly about three years ago, something like that. But I dug right to the back of my cupboard and found it in there. And I don't know about you, I know we're only in October, but I'm starting to think about Christmas makes and things that might be suitable for wearing for a Christmas party or, you know, the kind of outing where it's in the run up to Christmas, it's during the daytime, but you want to wear something that's a little bit sparkly or perhaps a little bit out of the ordinary. So anyway, I found this lovely jersey fabric in my fabric stash and it's got these kind of gold stripes on it. And then it's got a kind of, I don't know if it's black or if it's kind of a navy, somewhere in between um, those lovely stripes on there. I think I've got just less than two meters of that. And um, it's quite a lightweight jersey. I'd probably describe it as a viscose. It's very stretchy. So I was trying to think what I could do with this. And I think what I've settled on is making an Agnes dress by Tilly and the Buttons. So what I thought I would do is I'd take the bodice of the Agnes top and basically cut it off at the waistline. And then I'm just simply gonna add just a gathered skirt onto that. And I thought that I would have a little bit of fun fingers crossed, with the stripes of this fabric and maybe do the bodice so the stripes run across my body and then for the skirt perhaps the stripes could run downwards. So I'm not sure which sleeve option I'm going to go for on the Agnes top. Um, so if I'm going to go for you know, the one with the ruchy sleeve or um, the kind of plain sleeve, I might not have enough fabric to go for the ruched sleeve but I shall see. But I think because it's got this kind of, the, the, the fabric's got this kind of gold sparkliness to it, I think that could be really, really nice for, um, you know, that kind of festive vibe, festive kind of, you know, suitable for little parties and stuff. I know with um, baby William, my son's um, baby classes, I know they're already talking about kind of Christmas parties and that kind of thing. So I just thought it might be quite nice to have something that's practical to wear, kind of casual, but also a little bit sparkly so that I do feel in that kind of Christmas spirit. So I thought I'd get that one sewn up nice and early so I've got it ready in time. So that's that one anyway. And um, again, I'm looking forward to working on that one. I have made a couple of Agnes um, dresses before um, and I've also made lots and lots of Agnes tops, including the one that I'm wearing. I did actually record a video quite a while ago about how many Agnes tops I've made so far and all the different fabrics that I've used. So if you are interested in that one, then do check that out on my channel. Um, it was um, a good a couple of months ago, but I will try and link it down below as well so that you can see that one. Now sticking with that kind of festive spirit and festive sewing vibe, I thought I'd share another fabric with you that was actually given to me by Minerva in exchange for a review on their website. And this is just a plain kind of quilting cotton and it's got this beautiful bird design on it. It's a little bit creasy because I've already had it in the washing machine and it's been drying um, on the line outside. Um, but um, yeah, I've not ironed it or anything yet, but um, I like that it's got that holly detail on there. I've been trying to think, what can I use this fabric for? I've only got a meter and a half of it. And I was, I was thinking that I might actually use it for making reusable gift bags for Christmas. So I think I've got plenty there with having a metre and a half. So I'm probably going to get quite a few little gift bags out of it. So um, again, I shall keep you posted how I get on. And of course, I will share the measurements of the bags and whatnot when I've worked it out. I'm not going to be using a pattern for that. I'm just going to, um, you know, literally maybe draw myself out a template or maybe I'll even draw directly onto the fabric cut out um, some rectangle shapes or um, some square shapes and then I thought I'd do just a little simple drawstring around the top possibly finishing it off with some pretty ribbon um, but yeah I don't know bit of an idea of mine at the moment but um, I do think it'd be really nice rather than using wrapping paper necessarily just to make some reusable gift bags uh, with that beautiful fabric and um, 
yeah, hopefully friends and family will appreciate those this year. And of course, then they can use them afterwards for whatever they want. I always appreciate handmade gifts, so I'm sure my uh, friends and family will as well. So, uh, but yeah, hopefully they will like those. I've just got a couple of other things to share with you on the video today. So one is a fabric that I think I may have shared with you a while ago, but I've still not had a chance to actually sew anything with it. So this is actually a cotton drill fabric that I bought from Crafty So and So. Um, it's a medium weight fabric that's got a little bit of a stretch to it. So I'm planning on using this, hopefully, to make a dress. So it's got a little bit of a stretch, as you can see there. I just absolutely love this kind of teal colour. And um, as I said, I'm wanting to sew a few things that are kind of autumnal um, in, in their sort of look and their feel. So I thought that this might be perfect and I can maybe wear a little grey top underneath it, maybe a little mustard cardigan. I don't know, something like that. Um, but yeah, I think that's really nice. And because of the weight of the fabric, it's going to be perfect for this time of year to wear with some cosy tights and that kind of thing. Um, so I've been having to think, what can I use this fabric for? So I've got about a metre and a half of this from, from memory. Um, so I thought that I would dig this out again, one of my favourite sewing books, the Tilly and the Buttons Make It Simple book, which I'm sure you're familiar with already. I've made all sorts of different things from this book before, but one of my favourite things is the Olive Pinafore. So I've made one version of the Olive Pinafore before, which you can actually see on my uh, video from last week, from my capsule wardrobe video. Um, I will uh, link that as well so you can see it. But this is basically um, the, the Olive Pinafore, if you are unfamiliar with it. So for my last version, I made it in a, a straightforward blue denim fabric, and I was trying to recreate this one that the lovely model is wearing there. Um, so this time I thought that why not use a cotton drill fabric instead? Now I'm, I'm unsure whether I'm gonna do the all-in-one facing on this version or not, because I had a, a few problems with my all-in-one facing before. There is a really good video actually that Tilly and the Buttons did about how to attach the all-in-one facing. So if you haven't made the, this uh, pinafore, and you are thinking about doing it, I would definitely recommend having a watch of that video because I initially thought, yeah, 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 I know what I'm doing, it'll be fine. Tried to attach the um, the lining, um, not the lining, the um, facing, and basically messed it up a little bit. So then I had to do lots of unpicking and then I went back and watched the video anyway. So you might as well just watch it in the beginning. <laughs> or that's what I should have done anyway. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna go for the facing because Last time I used a cotton poplin fabric on the inside um, to add a little bit of colour, a little bit of something different on the inside of my fabric, but because the poplin didn't have a stretch and the, the denim that I used had got a bit of a stretch, it did feel like it was slightly tight across my shoulders. So I guess if I've got enough of this fabric, I could make the facing out of the same material, which could be okay. Um, or I could have a look if I've got any other fabric scraps that have got a little bit of stretch. Or alternatively, I might just use a bias binding instead around the neckline and the uh, arms. And then potentially I might just do the facing down uh, the front centre area where you've got the button placket instead. Not sure, but I will um, have a little think, I suppose, and just see how I get on. Um, when I'm making this dress up. But yeah, I really like um, this fabric and I think it's gonna be perfect for this time of year. And um, I just think this kind of color maybe goes with my skin tone and whatnot. So yeah, I'm liking that. And hopefully it's gonna make a really nice cozy dress for me to wear over the next few months. Now the final project I'm not gonna to talk too much about because it was something that I shared on a previous fabric haul video. It's just that I've not had a chance to sew it up yet. So I just thought I'd tell you about it briefly again and hopefully I'll get it sewn up over the next few weeks. So this is actually um, called the four in one summer basics pattern. Um, I know it's not summer anymore, but I think using the fabric I'm planning on using, it will be suitable for you know this time of year. So I'm planning on making the little skirt version. It's got um, an elastic waist and it's got this lovely tie front detail. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to working on this one. I just haven't had time to get around to it basically yet. Um, but, um, I don't know if you watched my previous video, but I'm planning on dyeing, using this Dylon fabric, fabric dye, should I say, to change the colour of this. So this is a kind of cotton chambray fabric that I bought a while ago. And I've decided that I've just kind of fallen out of love with it a little bit. Um, so it's got this kind of pinky colour to it, and then it's more of a, a lighter pink on the back. Um, so I'm hoping that this fabric dye is going to do the job and it's going to turn it as close to navy as possible um, and then I think it's going to make a lovely lovely little skirt for me to wear 
through autumn winter and then because it's quite a lightish weight fabric I can hopefully wear it into the warmer weather next year as well so we'll see how we get on but I am hoping to do that one um, as soon as I can basically as well time is tight for me at the moment in terms of doing my sewing projects I'm back at work after my maternity leave so um, that's quite full on and then I'm also I've got William my baby at nursery um, so obviously there's all the pickups and drop-offs and getting him to bed at night and <laughs> all that kind of thing which can sometimes be a little bit of a challenge but um, I am trying to fit in my sewing projects here and there whenever I can. Um, I do try and sew in kind of mini chunks these days so I might do sort of 10 minutes here 20 minutes there ahead of making the dinner or maybe I might do a little bit in the evening depending on what time I've got um, or perhaps I might sew on a weekend if my husband's around um, but the, the sewing time is quite limited but it is quite surprising how projects do come together um, even though I'm only doing limited bits of sewing here and there it is something that I really enjoy doing and it's something that I want to continue with so um, having that little bit of me time here and there I think really just make a massive difference so um, I recommend sewing to anyone and um, I'm always saying to friends and family you know if you, if you don't sew at the moment give it a go because it's just the most amazing hobby and I always think I really wish that I started to sew earlier uh, but for one reason or another I didn't and um, I'm just so pleased that I've joined the sewing community now and make all kinds of different things for both myself and friends and family you know as gifts and that kind of thing and I'm really enjoying sewing things for my little boy William as well. So I hope you've enjoyed watching today's video and you've enjoyed learning about what I'm going to sew over the next few weeks. If you are um, as I say new to my channel it, it would be amazing if you could consider subscribing to my channel and if you have enjoyed watching today's video please do give me a thumbs up and feel free to leave me any comments below. If you've got any questions about any of the bits and bobs that I've shown in today's video then uh, do let me know below. I do like having a chat with you in the comments section. So um, yeah, feel free to get in touch and I'll be back on the channel as soon as I can with my next video, hopefully next week. I do try and upload videos on Mondays or Tuesdays if I possibly can, family life allowing of course. Um, but yes, I will be back on the channel as soon as I can with my next video. And of course, keep you posted how I'm getting on with all of my various makes. Over the next few weeks, I will be sharing what I've made in September and I'm also going to be putting together a Caps Your Wardrobe video for autumn and winter. Until next time, I'll leave it there and say thank you so much for being with me today and I'll see you soon. Bye!